<laughs> I fucking see you, my boy. Okay, damn, we already starting off with that backstory. All right, I'm cool with this. But we get to see Sasuke. Hey, that's my boy right there. What's good, Sun Eater? Tamaki? So I assume we get to see all of, like, the big three um, when they were little. I'm kind of interested, though, that they're focusing on Sun Eater, though, for, like, this part. Damn, I feel you on that, bro. Making friends is hard. It's hard for your boy. I mean, honestly, I, I don't really feel any, you know, problem with being quiet. You know, a quiet person in school. Yo, at least that man Mirio's talking to him. Hey, you got your boy right there. Let's go. So Mirio's always been like an inspiration to him ever since they were little. Just just for talking to him. Just like the sun. So why are you called Sun Eater, though? That's actually interesting. Why is he called Sun Eater, then? He's comparing Mirio to the sun. I mean, bro, you're in the big three for a reason, man. You, you, you know, you can do it. Oh, it's just like how he's how Midoriya sees All oh Might. Okay, that's a cool that's a cool little like uh, callback right there. Nope, still haven't gotten tired of it. Okay, we throwing hands. Let's go, bro. I love this man here. Like he just keeps throwing the warn around. Like they're actually gonna listen to him. Like bro, we dealing with the Yakuza right now. Damn, they're really trying to do this by the books, man. They're like, yo, sorry, didn't take off our shoes. We got the warrant here. We got the police and everything. Like I said before, I'm pretty sure Overhaul, you know, he knows what he's doing right now, man. Like, he got a, he got a game plan. There's no way, like, it could be this easy. Hmm, I wonder if Kirishima's gonna... Well, probably not. I mean, the episode's called, like, Sun Eater, so I doubt Kirishima's gonna do anything in this episode. Oh, Nadai's still using his, uh... His foresight. Oh, shit, yeah, they already... They, they, they knew. They are prepared. Oh shit, okay, we haven't actually seen her quirk yet. Wait, is that it? <laughs> it just bubbles? Okay, well she you know she she got some hand-to-hand -hand combat action on her. Okay, that's full, that's fine. But that's it, just just bubbles. Oh, I can't see the soap. Okay, yeah, I was about to say, bro. Yo, I was like, his clothes are about to fall off. I mean You know, that's the least of our worries right now, bro. Even if his clothes fall off, it's cool. Okay, okay, Kirishima Midori, yeah, yeah, break that shit, bro. No, you shoot style on that. He really does just use his legs now. Like, he rarely uses his fists anymore. Oh, God. He has the drug. That's bad. Oh, he he going sicko mode. The fuck? Did this man just grow hair? Whoa. Whoa, whoa. Okay, yo. We on some... This some scary type of shit right now. I feel like I'm on LSD right now. Hold up, bro. I don't remember taking no acid. Wow, that's actually kind of overpowered. I mean, couldn't he just, like, close everything? Like, crush everybody in there? I feel like that would be, like, really easy right now. See, they already taken Aries somewhere. Okay, go, yo, come on. Sasuke, yo, Tamaki, come on. Come on, my bro. Good shit, Mir- Yo, we all need a man- We all need a boy like Mirio to help us, to motivate us, man. Get you a man like Mirio. Okay, shit, the OC's ramp ramping up. I hear that guitar. Damn! Oh, shit, there's more of them. Yo, I'm not even gonna lie. Like, the eight bullets, they, they look really dope. Like they did, they did a good job with those character designs. Tamaki, yo, hold on, bro. Yo, do not, do not pull the all handle. You guys go. Yo, my man Mira was rocking the ponytail back in the day. <laughs> I fucking see you, my boy. That's that character development right there. My guy say, yo, he didn't. It was the wording, too. He didn't say, I I'll handle it, guys. You know, I'll stall for time. He said, I should be enough by myself, man. He said, I don't need no help, bro. I'll take all these fuckers on by myself. Okay, my guy Tamaki, I like you, bro. I like you. Like, if I'm being honest, his name kind of sounds like a villain's name, but, you know, you, you can't use guns against him. What, does he just reflect them all? Wait, his quirk was the, the sword? Wait, an inferior version of Ares' quirk? Yo, yo, wait, hold on, hold on. Oh, Sun Eater's coming through, let's go. Yo, we got the hentai powers on deck, that's all you need, bro. See, I've been, I've been waiting for, like, a fight like this, you know? Like, the Kirishima fight was cool, don't get me wrong, but, like, there's, like, this tension here, you know? Like, the OST's coming through? I don't understand, his sword keeps disappearing. But I'm guessing his sword has something to do with his quirk? I got, I'm a little confused with that. Yeah, he's taking them all out. He's having no problem with that. He doesn't look like he's in trouble, bro. He's stronger than anyone here. Like, that's what I'm saying. Like, bro, he's in the big three for a reason, my guy. Oh, shit. They're probably gonna use the drug then. Go sicko mode, you know? Go ahead. Did he just eat that? Oh, he cut it. This man had a knife in his mouth, bro. What? Oh, shit. They got their quirks back. Okay. So, never mind. Okay, um... 
Tamaki might struggle a little bit because he was fine that without their quirks. Ooh! Tamaki, you cannot be taking hits like that, bro! You just ate it! Like, you just stood there and took a big-ass diamond fist to the head. <laughs> he just grew a little little plant out of his hand. Oh my god, Miri, I can't use it fully yet. It's <laughs> that determination right there, man. You fall, you get back up. Life goes on. Bro, look at that, man. Yo, that is the true power in anime is friendship. That's all you need in anime, and you win. I feel like that sounds kind of malicious, though, you know? Oh, they're, like, hard now. They're, like, shells. That's kind of a little bit like Kirishima's power, too. He's kind of, like, merging. Damn, he's gonna use, like, a lot of them at once. He's gonna make, like, armor or something. Yo, hold up. We on our Tokyo Ghoul stuff? Yo, what the... <laughs> Yo, God damn. He just got... He just used all of his hentai powers at once. <laughs> that, dude, that dude finally woke up. Wait, what? Wait, did he just bite it? He's eating it? What? That's his quirk? That's kind of whack, bro. Oh, damn, Eraser. He tried to keep him, keep him down while Tomki finished them all off. Damn! Damn, bro! Okay, never mind. I thought we had this in the bag because of friendship, but we still getting our ass beat right now. Who would have thought a quirk that literally he, could, he just eats stuff is like the deciding factor right now. Oh, he stole... Bro, that... that Quirk power is kind of insane. We have strong bonds and such. Damn, he said, bro, you got friendship power. We got friendship power too. Jesus. I like how they're like kind of trying to flesh out the characters though, you know? Oh, that man, that man overhaul said, yeah, join me. Come join the Yakuza. I mean, I feel like they're kind of just loyal to him. Not even just brainwashed, you know? Yo, is Tamaki going to get taken out, bro? Wait, what? Damn, throw off their teamwork? Damn, he's using that strategy right now. He just ate that. Did you? Did we just have to eat it? Oh, he ate it! Oh, Tamaki, you clever ass, bro. Clever. He's not going to be able to eat the crystals, though, right? Did he really just take him out just like that, though? That was it. He, they just got one shot at all at once. Then Tamaki's like, yeah, I can, I can understand your bonds, but, you know, I got my friendship power is much stronger than yours. Yo, the shots, the angles right now, bro. Insane. Oh, Kirishima gets the... Oh, shit. Another Kirishima. Almost breaks Kirishima's spirit. God damn. Oh, Kirishima backstory too? Just Red Riot. Not even unbreakable, bro. Oh, shit. Yo, 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 yo. Okay, that next episode about to be off the fucking chain, though. But this episode was really good. I like how they focus on Tamaki's character because... Like I said before, I thought... I mean... Uh, like I said, it was kind of hard to understand Tamaki where he's coming from. Like, he's just shy and stuff like that. But I'm glad that they, you know, fleshed out his character a lot more in this. And, yo, that man, yo, he can throw hands, man. That dude, and when he said, yo, he said, yo, guys, you can you can go on ahead, bro. I can handle this by myself. I don't need no help, bro. You took one, one V3, bro. He bodied them all. But, yo, he used strategy at the end. That's what I like, though. That, I mean, I like how they threw in, like, Oh, you know, you know, Mirio is my friend and stuff like that. And if he can do it, I can do it too. Like the whole friendship gimmick in, in anime. And he kind of powered up because of it. But like, that wasn't the deciding factor. And you know, what won the battle. It was the fact that, you know, they, they explained how the villains also, you know, have bonds together too. And they use teamwork to, you know, beat their, their enemies and stuff like that. So Tomaki's like, yo, I'm just use strategy. I'm going to throw off their teamwork real quick, you know, and strike. And you know, that shit, I mean, it worked, man. You know, <laughs> I... Man, dude, um, moments like those, moments like those is why I like uh, this anime a lot. My Hero Academia has really good, like, very good climaxing moments that just like, woo, like, you just feel it. You're like, oh, God. And, like, that's why I feel like the next episode, bro, the next episode, because Kirishima gets more shine. Honestly, we really haven't gotten any Midoriya shine yet, and I'm guessing they're saving Midoriya and Mirio. For, of course overhaul because you know since he's the big villain and of course main protagonist has to fight the main villain um so they're probably saving it for him but i'm curious to what to see with kirishima because it looks like there's gonna be some emotional stuff in the next episode and your boy ain't trying to cry but if it happens it happens and bro once again the shots in this episode were amazing man like some of like I, I i i really appreciate just like some of the artistic detail that they put into some of these just even just these simple panning shots it just looks beautiful like the crystals flying around and stuff like that but guys that's gonna be it for today's video hope you enjoyed today's episode uh make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you did and uh yeah it's been ivory guys peace out